I am so happy. I'm happy we've got this far. So, okay, so this is a memory and language and communication, but finding pleasure as a kind of lubricant for our communication. This is a TRP method of, uh, of communication and of uh, language acquisition and memory recall. It's very academic, Brian. I think you need to write it down. <laughs> TRP, it means the real pleasure. The real pleasure. <laughs> yes. And then, so the problem is, as we get older, what happens to memory? Do We lose it. <laughs> it's like a, it's there, but it does not respond. Is, I don't know. I mean, you have had that experience. Uh, you go upstairs and um, you're looking for something. What are you <laughs> looking for? You forget. <laughs> you forget. What, what did you forget? What you were looking for or why you went upstairs. The reason. Well, why did you go upstairs, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> No. You you've forgotten? Yes, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what were you looking for, Abby? Uh, did I did I go upstairs? <laughs> I think so. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, the kettle whistle. <laughs> you went upstairs for the kettle whistle. Yes. Okay. Is that uh, yeah, and you got you got upstairs, and you uh, what happened when you got upstairs? I got distracted. Yeah. You looked at the whole room. We go upstairs, we just look at the room, the whole room. And we don't know what on earth we're looking for. So how do we recover the tricky memory, which is tricking us? How do we dig it out? What do you do if you go upstairs and you can't find the chicken, chicken, chicken wrestle? The kettle whistle. Kettle whistle, sorry, yes. You can't find the kettle whistle, waffle, waffle. Kettle whistle. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you go downstairs again. You use your body to the pleasure of walking and the physicality to drum up the memory, uh, and you find the the uh, what is it? The kettle whistle. What even is it? It's the, the top of a kettle that goes woo when the water boils. The kettle. What does it do, Abby? Goes woo when the water boils. <laughs> <laughs> we can all do this. <laughs> I have not got a whittle trifle. Whittle tri trifle. I've not got. <laughs> I've not got one of those things in my kitchen. I must go and look for it in the bedroom. Yeah. And you, yes. So, uh, so for example, are objects they trick us? They look like different things, or they don't look like the thing we're looking. At, if you know what I mean. Are you with me, Bernie, or have you lost the will to live? If the dog is sh he's, he's shaking because he heard about the kettle whistle. Yeah. And scaring him. Yeah, yeah, the dog whistle, the kettle whistle, they all. The... Uh, Bernie, watch that. Oh, it's the captain's hat. Captain's hat, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Peter, watch that. Braces. Yellow yes. braces. Very good. Okay, uh, uh, Catherine, watch, watch this. Oh, a stethoscope. There's a stethoscope. Stethoscope. <laughs> um, this one has to come from above. Can't see. It's coming, it's coming. Patience, right. Bernie, patience. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch this. Hang on, here it comes. Christmas balls. Christmas balls. Okay. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Glove. A hand. <laughs> A zombie claw. A zombie claw. That's correct. A zombified hand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try then. I'm going to hold the things up and you're going to say together the thing that it is with a lot of energy and excitement because you know you now know the name of the thing because you have agreed what it is. <laughs> Do we? 
Do you know? Do you understand, Brian? Do you want me to recap the rules? <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. What's this, Brian? Tinsel. Yes, tinsel. Okay, so off we go. <laughs> Toby. Toby. Yes. Toby. <laughs> Captain's hat. Captain's hat. Captain's hat. <laughs> Greg. Tinsel. Oh. Go in. Yeah, come on. Zombie hands. 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 Recall exercise. Grace? Okay. Great. Fantastic. Is that all you can say, Brian? <laughs> Great. Oh, it's fantastic. That took I've me been... hours to devise and collect all the objects and find the zombie hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, it's changed my life. <laughs> it, changed, it changed Bernie's life, Brian. It changed Bernie's life. What about you, Catherine? I thought it was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> See, Catherine thought it was amazing. It changed Bernie's life. Do you know, I think I might get some, <laughs> I might try this exercise out in public now. It's, it's going so well. Peter, what did you think? It's exhilarating experience. <laughs> you know, Peter, in this single workshop, you have developed incredibly fast. <laughs> you are now a genius in my mind. In my eyes, I think you're superb for saying just that exhilarating thank you you are a superstar and i really appreciate you being here brian did you hear that let's try now i want you to call it something else that it is not okay <laughs> what leaf. A what Cheese. what catherine leaf a leaf okay leaf angel's hair <laughs> Bernie, Catherine have just said it is a leaf. Okay. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, okay. Good. Ready for this, Peter? Bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. Okay. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Light bulb. Light bulb. Bicycle. Bicycle. Toothbrush. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Leaf. 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 Yes. <laughs> Did we do that? No. no. Oh, this one. Elephant. 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 Just what Brian's idea. This is this is the other. brilliant. <laughs> okay, good work. I think you can give yourselves, in fact, give the person in the box next to you a big pat on the back. Reach. Okay. Yeah. Now take your pat on the back. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> well done. So this is by way of suggesting that we can call things something if we agree it is something. And so if we can relax and don't worry about semiotics and don't worry about semantics and don't worry about grammatical uh, education, we can have a good time together because we can call ourselves a member of the club. We are now members of the club, we trust each other, we speak the same language.